YouTube, this is Megan's apathetic car reviews, or as I like to call them, parts and emotional labor. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? For the uninitiated, these reviews are meant to provide an unresearched, disinterested perspective on supercars, or luxury cars, or whatever. Today on NGS, we're going hard. This is the 2020? Yep. McLaren 720S. Spider. But isn't the S Spider? No. No. There's the 720S and then there's 720S Spider. <sighs> ah. <laughs> it's a lot, ah. of, a lot of words. Yeah, yeah, it is. All sorts of uh, rumbling on the, the chat group with Dan and the guys about this car. I've been a little bit concerned about this one. <laughs> this one's a little bit different than the others. This is too much in many ways. Yeah. Yeah, this is a lot. It's a lot. It looks like a lot. It is a lot. If Dan and the other guys are like blah, 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 about the car, how'd that go? Then that's serious because they uh, they have uh, screwed around in every manner of car, pretty mm. much. I have come to gather or require some respect. We've had quite a few McLarens on the channel now. Yeah. You know, I've driven two of them along the way. I think yep. one was the. Uh, what, like the maroon one and then the other orange one. What are we working with? You got the 650. You've done a 12C. Okay. Whoa! Go! Go! Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. You've also done the 600 LT back in the day. Oh, holy! Holy shit! Oh yeah, I've driven three McLarens. This will be my fourth McLaren. And by far the most powerful. Yeah. Okay, so uh, break the, all those down for me. What became what became what became what? Well, they started with the 12C. Did I drive that? Wait, was that the yeah. MP4 MP4 12? MP4 12C. Yeah, that was the one with the awful name. Yeah, horrible name. And then we had the 6, 650. A 650, and that was orange. Yes. And then the... Uh, the 600 LT you drove way well, back Oh, the yes, day. the very like carbon-colored one with yes, the like very the... slight orange accents. That was a beautiful car with yeah. the special engine. Vroom, 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 vroom. Yeah, with the exhaust. Uh, yeah, yeah, it comes out the top. Yep, yep. Spits fire. This is the big boy. This is the top of the line. Next, well, they have another version of this called a 6, 765 LT, which is a lightweight, even more powerful There's version. There's always another version. Yeah. Everyone's those, like, this is the best one, except this other one. Well, those are like three quarters of a million dollars right now. Yeah. This is less than half of that. This is plenty. Like the other McLarens, it's kind of spaceshipy, isn't it? This one's especially spaceshipy. Yep. And the color is gorgeous. Yeah. Well, the color is beautiful. I don't know. I'm so so on the color. But I also just recently reviewed the AMG GTR. So after that, everything's like meh. <laughs> 720. Yeah, look at the sparkle in the sun, though. This is called papaya spark, right? Papaya spark. Fly. No, fly. it's gorgeous. And it's got a lot of, like, glitter in it. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful car. It's a gorgeous car. What is the, I guess, MSRP? We think it was uh, $380,000. Yeah, I know. So this is above even 488. Uh, no, 48 can They easily, can get there new. They can easily get into 400s. Oh, okay. Especially for the convertibles. Okay, yeah. which this one is. Yes. And this is a special, like, I do my own top convertible where it, like... It's a hard top convertible. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. That's the way to be. Still under warranty. Mm -hmm. This is a new car. 3,175 miles on it. Okay. Yeah, it's brand new. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a McLaren on the front end. There's a wee little trunk. You want to see it? Okay, let's look at the trunk. Yeah, it's like a Ferrari. Yeah, not, not much there. It's the same thing as a Ferrari. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe fit a bag. Yeah, you can fit a bag. Sadly, you can't see the engine. Well, that was the same thing on the other McLarens. Yeah. Right? Well, some of you could. It's just harder to work on them because you have to tear the whole back end off, yeah, right? Yeah, like to even get to the engine, you got to start removing panels. But... Oh, blue calipers. Those are nice. Yeah. I like that. A little pop of blue. That yeah. looks good with that orange. Oh, and of course, the upside down Nike symbol. Oh, yeah, the swoop. Yeah, the swoop. Swoopy thing. Swoopy thing. It's got a, uh, what's called active arrow. This wing moves. Oh, 
Oh, well, it should for $300 yeah, right? Yeah, it like, moves around. It does the air brake thing, so when you get higher in the brakes, it stands upright. It's still got a cool exhaust that's coming out in the middle. Yeah, of I mean, it's not as cool as 600 LP exhaust. No, that's, that's the coolest exhaust I've ever seen. It is. You can tell me if I'm wrong, but it looks about the same width and length as a 458. It's pretty close. In the uh, special one, the the 765 or whatever, yeah. did they just strip everything out like a Scud or I a think Super it's Legera? Yeah, it's going to be light. Yeah, yeah okay. Like those. And this is... This is just like the, uh, oh, actually, it doesn't go, it doesn't go through. No, but it's okay. like, it's got a big gap and it goes into like an air intake. There's the, there's the cutout thing. Yeah. It's also got a flying buttress. See? Oh, ooh, it's like Notre Dame. Yeah. And it's got, it's made out of glass. Oh, that's glass? Yeah. So oh, you okay. can see yourself. Like, see? Do those break a lot? No. No? That doesn't. Okay. If you, <laughs> if you have the coupe. The coupe, the doors have a glass panel that raises with the door. That glass panel breaks a lot. Hmm, okay. Pretty much 100%. You know who I think would buy this car if there's like a, you know, like a well-to-do nouveau riche tech bro. That's right. But from Miami, because this color oh, yeah. looks like it belongs in Miami. It does. Maybe he's Cuban. I don't know. It's got the flavor of Miami. Although in Austin, it'll work too. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if we end up, this one goes to someone in Austin, because this reminds me of Austin as well. There was a guy in Austin who was interested. Yeah. On the LT, it, the handle was somewhere right here, but... No, that's the... That's it. Oh, that I thought it? it was a window. Nope. That... Shall we? Yeah, go for it. Shall we get in? Oh, yes. Okay. Why am I pulling out? Of course. Got my billionaire doors. Doors of a billionaire. It'd go like this, it'd go like this. Not like this! Not like this! Oh, good. Um, black, Alcantara with leather, and the uh, small amount of uh, matching corresponding orange in there. That looks good with the, with the contrast stitching. Yeah. That's very pretty. And carbon fiber all in here that I can step on. Great. Yeah, you gotta kinda <laughs> be careful of that. It's not to hard. It. Okay. I know, if, like, if you own that car, you really want that PPF'd. Yeah. Um, is this car PPF'd? And then, uh, the front is. Oh, good. Uh, I don't know where you park these, but not on like a city street, right? Not very easily. I mean, there you go. Okay. It's, it's kind of, you got to worry about the stuff being too close. In a crash, is it harder for like emergency personnel to work with these doors, I wonder? That's a very legitimate, good question. I don't know. I guess know. if you've got the jaws alive, you're like, whatever, McLaren. Yeah. <laughs> sip, 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 sip. <laughs> okay, this is a 300 and new. This is a 300 and what car again? 80. Do we have power seats? Yeah. Oh, what a luxury, finally. They're over here. Though. Multiple they're, hundred thousand dollar cars worst, that don't have it is quite common. Worst controls ever. Oh, well, great. I don't, you have um, to just push buttons until you get what you want. That's not what I want. No. Okay, so here we are. Mm. So as we said before, you can do uh, a whole lot of finding out for very little f ah. around in this car. So let's be careful yes. and let's nurse our way up Yeah, I would say let's start speed. like, do like quarter throttle, half throttle, three quarter throttle. I, who knows if we'll get to full throttle, guys. I don't know that that's yeah. necessary. It's a cold day. It's only like 50 degrees. And so. these are race tires. Yeah, and I spun them going about 65 on the way back from filling up with gas. Okay, great. Oh, carbon fiber wheel. Yep. Carbon fiber stuff. Carbon fiber flappy paddles. Mm -hmm. Big screen. Well, not a huge screen here, but a screen. So, foot on brake, foot on brake and uh, yeah. there we go. There you go. Ta da. Drive is actually a button. Oh. Well, I actually don't mind that. There you go. That seems easy to deal with. So, how much do you have this for our, on the website? Uh, 325. Oh, okay. it's an auto start stop, really? Is that what's up with this? Yeah. It's like... I need to disable that. Eco mode? What? Yeah, that's bullshitty. You sh there it is. I mean, is it really... It's not okay. gonna... This is not an environmentally friendly no, car. No, it's not. Eco mode. That's stupid. How many miles per gallon does this get? I mean, if you're staying out of the go pedal, pretty good, but... Okay. It's only like a four liter V8. How many through. horsepower in this? Like 700 and Jesus. something, 720-ish. It's like the Demon, but it probably weighs a lot less. Oh, way less than the Demon. <laughs> Demon is just a beast, but this thing is truly terrifying. Yeah, this could probably close to outrun it. This might be able to beat a Demon at the drag strip. Oof. So, I mean, this is probably the most horsepower I've ever personally been responsible for. Probably. If you just drive her normal. Oh, it's very comfortable. Yeah, just taking our time. Mm -hmm warming things up everybody it's a girl with a very very powerful automobile for your own safety whoa that just gets fast very quickly 
No, if you're looking for a thrill, probably drugs is a better idea because it's cheaper and safer <laughs> than this car. Heroin's safer than this Heroin car. Heroin is safer than this car. <laughs> Shit. I don't want anybody near me. Right, this is a thing. Just roll on slow and then... Okay, yeah, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna punch it. Yeah. Cause there, this isn't even a flat road. Jesus! <laughs> okay, how much was that on the throttle? Oh, I still got my blinker on, shit. You know, if you own this car, I feel like it would be hard to be comfortable in it. Emotionally. At least that's how I feel about it. You have to be on your A game when you're driving hard. I mean, I want to show you guys what this thing is about, but it's also like, uh, don't need to die. Yeah, when the um, twin turbos, like the air whooshing sound, it's like a really shrill, high pitch, like, free. Yeah. yeah, you can really hear those turbos. Yes, you can. It's almost absurd how powerful it is. Yeah, no, it's stupid. There's no reason to have this much power in the street. No, none whatsoever. At the same time, I absolutely love it. Well, <laughs> Great, but it's like no one is ever really doing what this car can do when they're taking it out. Pretty much. I mean, it only could do it on a track. Yeah. And even then, probably 5% of people could actually drive it anywhere near its limits. Yeah. Safely. Most of us would just end up in a ditch or dead. Can you, can you even take it to the track? Would you need a roll yeah. cage? No. Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be, it's, I think it's okay at the drag strip. Like, you don't have to put a, a cage in it or anything? No, but it does, it, they can run nines from the factory. At what stage do they tell you you have to have the roll cage? I think it's 949. Okay. That was the thing about the yeah. demon, right? It's like, it's yeah. not lethal at the track. You're good. You're good. Go I'm good? Yeah. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Go for it. Passenger van, and you definitely don't want to get into an accident with this car. No. There you go. Okay. Okay. Holy shit! Jesus. <laughs> For like one and a half seconds, you're like, wee! And then your mind, then your adult brain kicks in. It's like, fun time is over. You're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're really quick. It's like, guys, it's like a second and it's at 120. I mean, it's just stupid. <laughs> What, do I want to go 200 on a country road and, you know, like, what? Yeah, you could. Yeah, I could in this car for <laughs> sure. Just have one and a half more seconds and I'm there. <laughs> right. And then you can bail me out. It's great content. Oh, yeah. This is zero to arrest me in, like, literally three yeah. seconds. This is the car where you absolutely do not turn off traction control. You will, you will die. Yeah. It's not the loudest I've ever... No, it's actually... You, you have had way louder cars at no, our place. No, it's pretty, pretty quiet, actually, from the factory. Do people modify? Oh, yeah. Yeah. People love to modify. That's actually one of the things. They're all modified. They're all modified? So this one's clean. Yep. People are... People start doing crazy shit getting these things over 1,000 horsepower. And, I mean, could you imagine 30% more horsepower than it's already got? No! You, then you're taking it somewhere to just go fast in a straight line. Or you're dumb. Yeah, basically. The contemporary to this car in Lamborghini and Ferrari then. Uh, in Ferrari, it would probably be the F8. Lamborghini's kind of weird. They have the Huracan STO, which might be comparable to this. But Lamborghini doesn't have anything that's twin turbo. Oh, they don't? No. Nope. That surprises me. Yeah, I know. Because they, they tend not to be purists. No. Or care people, about People modify anything. twin turbo. Okay. Let me turn here. So it's, it's tough because the Aventador is such a big car, it's kind of not the same as this. And the Huracan is naturally aspirated, so it's got that as a deficit compared to this. Don't worry, I won't. I, won't. I was like, don't do it on the turn. <laughs> I am not going to put it down on a turn. <laughs> Great content, though. Oh, I did. yeah. Yeah. Megan wrecks a $300,000 car. God.
I mean done launch control because it's almost scared. Oh, you haven't? No, we could. I'm not doing it. I mean, I could. You could. Sure. Okay, should I hold the camera and if you... you want to? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna let Dan uh, teach us how to do launch control because I didn't want to. I yeah. didn't want to do that. Let's okay. See what they'll do right here. Do you have enough space to do it right yeah, here? Good enough. Okay. Guess she's gonna do launch it. Launch mode active. Ready? Okay. Yep. Shit! 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 Dan! Dan! That's too much. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Dick! <laughs> Jesus! Oh my god! It's so stupid fast. It's so... it's dumb. <laughs> Scary and it's dumb. It actually was easier to control than I expected. Okay. So that's what you do at the quarter mile? Yeah. Okay. That was not quite as fast as you'd go at a quarter mile. You'd actually go faster than a quarter mile. Well, I'm sure. We don't have a quarter mile to work with, though. No, not right there. We should probably do it again. Yeah, just confirm. Yeah. Let's make sure it's not broken. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, I feel like brake loose there. Yup. <laughs> okay, so one more time. Alright. For the people in the back. Whoa! Shit, 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 shit! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> it's absurd. Okay, let's take her home. Yep. I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> yeah. I don't really want that content. No, or I don't want to be in a ditch. Yep. Although, I will say, it's more controllable than I expected. I mean, I, yeah, I guess. I think, <laughs> I think it's because the tires are warmed up. When I was driving it back from the gas station, the tires were not warmed up, and it was, that was scary. Squirrely. Yeah, I, like I said, I broke them loose going about 65, and that was like, oh, dear God. I think there's probably been a huge number of these cars that have been totaled. I would agree with that. Yeah, people get in them, they start monkeying them with the traction control, and off they go. Yeehaw, we're in a ditch. Yep. <laughs> the good news is they're actually very safe. They, uh, because of the carbon fiber tub and everything, it's a really sturdy car. You mean they're safe in that they're survivable? Yeah. That's what you mean by safe. Yes. Yeah. Safe, yeah, yeah. <laughs> easy, easy to crash, but survivable when you do. Yep. So, yeah, um, uh, this is more car than any of you need. As much car as everyone wants. Well, sure. I mean, it's what they think they want. Yeah. And what they think they're capable of, of dealing with. But this is too much car for, for most people. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of people, probably the people watching this video. It's a gorgeous car. It is an ostentatious car. It is absolutely every bit as fast and scary as it is pretty. <laughs> this is just next level. McLaren. Take it home. Get it out of here. <laughs> I, <laughs> please don't die. Yeah, no. The, please get off of our property before you die in this car. <laughs> no test drives. No test drives. Sorry, It bros. works. You just saw a bunch of test drive. Yeah. It works great. And yeah. it's under warranty. So there you have it.